Hey, Scott Groves here with another mortgage mystery. What is a mortgage down payment and how much does a mortgage down payment need to be? Well, the simple answer is a down payment is the amount of cash that you put down on a house in order to purchase that house. So whether you're buying a $200,000 condo, a $500,000 starter house, a $3 million dream house, there's a certain amount of money that the lender is going to require you to put down on the house in order to show that you have some skin in the game, that you have the financial wherewithal to either save your own money or get gift funds from a family member. And this down payment is the percentage of the money that you put down and then the lender lends you the rest. So for example, let's go to my classic $500,000 house. If you decide that you wanna put 20% down or if the lender is requiring 20% down for you to qualify and or to get the best interest rate, 20% of $500,000 is $100,000. So your down payment would be $100,000 and your mortgage would be $400,000. Now, this can get confusing because a lot of people think that they have to have 20% down in order to buy a house and that's not the case at all. You can buy a house with 20% down, 15% down, 10% down, 5% down, 3.5% down, 3% down, and in some rare cases, if you qualify for some type of grant or down payment assistant loan, you can actually buy a house in some circumstances with zero money down. Now, in most cases, that's either not advised or you're not going to meet some type of criteria in order to qualify for that 0% down loan. But in general, if you can cobble together 35 to 5% down, we can get you into a home. If you can put 10 or 20% down, we'll get you into a home with a better structure on the loan and a better interest rate. Now, what's interesting is that down payment doesn't have to just come from your checking account. You could take a loan against a 401k account to help facilitate that down payment. You could liquidate some stocks, bonds, or even take a loan against an IRA or liquidate an IRA. You could also get gift funds from a family member. So frequently, a client of mine might have a scenario where they need to put $50,000 down, and maybe they only have $15,000 down. It's not uncommon to see a family member come alongside gift an additional $35,000 down to make up the sum total of the required $50,000 down. So let's be prepared to put three and a half to 5% down to get you into a house. And if you have the means to put down 10, 20, or even more, that's great news. Now, one last thought about down payments. On down payments, I have a lot of clients who think, hey, if I beg, borrow, steal, uh, liquidate this asset, call in this favor, you know, I could put in another $20,000 down on the house and won't that affect my payment by a dramatic amount? Well, here's the reality. Depending on the interest rate, and this number is a little variable, but for every $10,000 that you put down on the mortgage, you're only going to save yourself about $55 a month on the mortgage payment. So I'm frequently having conversations with clients of like, hey, what's easier for you? Is it easier for you to resave $20,000 or is it easier for you to carve $100 to $110 out of your monthly budget? These are the type of things that a quality loan officer will help you structure, walk through this math, and decide what your best financial plan is. So if you're buying a home anywhere in America, give us a call, leave a comment, shoot us an email. All my information is in the comments below. We're here to help you out. And if you happen to be buying an estate where our team isn't licensed to do mortgages, we have a great network of loan officers to refer you to in order to help you get into a home.